Same stuff, okay? Let's get at least 20 and let's see if we can go up from there. Forehand to start. One, two, good start. Three, four, excellent. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come up. Ten. That's all right. No problem. Here you go. That was a good start. One, two. Give yourself some space now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now backhand. Nine. 10, give yourself space, 11, 12, backhand, 13, 14, backhand, 15, 16, forehand, 17, 18, a little more room, 19, 20, backhand, 21, let it come down, 22, 23, get there, get there, get there, 24, wow, awesome. All right, let's talk about where we want to impact the ball. So you're moving good. You got the racket a little farther away from your body and we want to hit the ball. Hopefully we can hit the ball even with our front foot. But let's talk about the height. The easiest place to hit the ball is kind of about tummy height. Here I'm on balance. I can see everything. I'm, I'm completely on balance. As I go up, see what it does to my upper body? and it tilts my head back to get away. It's harder to see that. I can do this, that helps. All right, low balls are also challenging. Low balls, there's a tendency to do this. Now look at the racket head is far away from my eyes. Okay, so when I hit the ball, if it's low, I wanna bend down just a little bit and support the racket head. If it's high, I can lift the racket head and hit it in here. Okay, so I want the racket head by my eyes. I want to strike balls in here. This is the best spot. Here's the trouble spot. I got to bend down a little bit. Here's the trouble spot. I got to keep the racket supported. It's the same on the backhand. You go to hit that backhand. Here's the sweet spot. Here's the challenging spot. Here's the challenging spot. Okay? That's how you handle those. Okay? Okay, what's our best? 26? Let's see if we can break 26. Forehand, one, two, good job, nice start. Three, four, excellent. Five, six, seven, you got it. Good job, nice start, excellent contact points. One, two, three, get up to it. Four, five, six, seven, get up to it, eight, nine, come up. Oh, I missed it. Nice rally, nice rally. Let's try some backhands. One, two, you don't have to take it back so far, maybe about in here. You don't need to take it all the way back, okay? There you go. One, two, there you go. Three, four, how about a backhand, five, Coach missed it. I missed too, don't worry. Missing and mistakes is a big part of tennis. You just wanna make good mistakes, not bad mistakes. Okay, here we go. Forehand, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, getting better, 11, it's getting smoother, 12, 13, go to it, 14, all right, good try, getting better at those wide balls, big improvement, let's keep going, let's try some backhands again, one, go to it, that's all right, let's try the backhand again, support the racket head, there you go, three, four, good try, good try. Also, as you back up, as you play farther back, as we're doing now, you want the swing 
to have a very slight incline, just a, a slight incline so that you're going to slightly lift the ball over the net, not just kind of bunt it or bat it straight ahead, okay? Because that net is a barrier. We want the ball to climb over the net. Very subtle though, very subtle on the incline. Let's try the backhand. One, two, good job. Three, get under it. Four, good try. That's all right. A little extreme on that. Let's try the backhand again. One, two. Mm -hmm. So when I say the incline, come on in for a second. You want to be careful to not just bring your hand straight up. Okay? Your hand needs to travel forward and on a slight rise. So you're running down the ball. It definitely needs to go forward because we want to send the ball forward. It's a combination of sending the, the ball back to me by hitting forward on it with a slight rise. Just a slight rise, okay? Let's try that backhand again. One. That's it. Almost. Good try. Again. One. Two. Mm -hmm. don't, don't jump. You don't have to use your body to jump. And don't worry, you're doing just fine. You'll get it here. Here we go. Aubrey, let's start on the forehand again. Forehand, one, two, three, four. Here you go. Five, six, seven. Back away from it. Eight, nine. Let it come down a little bit. Ten. 11, 12, good job, 13, 14, that's it, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, come up, 20, 21, 22, how about a backhand, 23, get up, 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 oh, I missed it, see, I'm the one missing all the shots, all right, Getting better. A few more at half court, then we're going to back up. Coming in, backhand. One, two, good job, nice hit. Three on the forehand. Five, get up, get up. Six, nice pick up. Seven, eight, almost in the basket. All right, good court coverage. One, two, all right, here you go. One, Two, three, four. How about a backhand? Five, get there. Kirk, make those shots. Now, let's put the racket in the left hand. Let your hitting arm rest. As you play a lot of tennis, your, your hitting arm is going to get very strong, okay? And it's going to get a little tired. So you